Hello and welcome to another episode of It's Anything Can Happen Day. I am on Highway 25E at a scenic overlook about halfway between Bean Station, Tennessee and Tazewell, Tennessee. Just thought I'd stop here and show you this beautiful view. They call this the, uh, the Veterans Overlook and they've got it decorated real nice to uh, honor the veterans. In honor of the young men and women from the beautiful hills and valleys of East Tennessee who gave all in the Vietnam conflict and those who returned scarred and forever wounded, we gratefully appreciate your service and sacrifice. May God be with our veterans. I just wanted to show you this beautiful scenic overlook. We're headed to, uh, I, today I woke up and I just decided I wanted to look at dams. As, as you may or may not know, I'm a reporter with the Kingsport Times News and I get a lot of press releases. And one of the press releases I just got recently was from the Tennessee Valley Authority, which announced that it's, it's dam campgrounds, and they're not cursing, it's D-A-M, the kind of dam that holds water in. Their dam uh, campgrounds are gonna be open. So I thought, well, let's go look at a couple. We've got a bunch of them right here in our vicinity. And that's where we're headed. First though, I wanna go to Cumberland Gap because it's a good day to look at scenery. So we're gonna to go to Cumberland Gap, and then we're gonna check out a couple of dam campgrounds. And I keep saying over and over, I have a real bad habit of running a bad joke into the ground. So I'll be saying dam campground quite a bit. So you'll have to get used to that. Here's a better view. And in keeping with the T Tennessee Valley Authority theme, this is, uh, I believe that's Cherokee Lake which is a dammed up lake. And it's down right now, it's March. There's Maggie, Maggie, look at her. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Maggie, you are a scalawag. She cracks me up. She does that at the, she did that the, the one time we took her, there she is. Do it, Maggie. She's gotta know what's going on. Maggie, jump back on the wall again. <laughs> she doesn't follow commands. Anyways, uh, I forget what I was saying now. Oh, this is Cherokee Lake. It's a dammed up lake and there's a there's a really neat dam and campground on the other end of Cherokee Lake. That's one of our destinations. But first we're gonna go to Cumberland Gap. So we'll see you when we get there. Oh by the way, did I tell you that Cherokee Lake is a dam lake that has a dam campground at it? Just wanna make sure I told you that. Okay, I have just, we have just arrived at the actual Cumberland Gap. And I'm speed, apparently I'm speeding. It was flashing at me. But uh, this is the tunnel, oh, bump bump. This is the tunnel, the, the old Cumberland Gap road that, that Daniel Boone blazed the trail. <clears throat> apparently that was not uh, conducive to uh, trucking and, and good transportation. So the old road, they, they dug this tunnel out. And this is a real long tunnel that goes underneath the mountain from Tennessee, Harrogate, Tennessee, into Middlesboro, Kentucky. And this is the Cumberland Gap. But now it's the Cumberland Gap Tunnel. Interesting side note, when I moved to Kentucky in 1996, they had just completed this tunnel and I didn't do the assignment, but one of the reporters at the Harlan Daily Enterprise where I worked came and covered the opening of this tunnel. And it was like almost immediately after I arrived down here. So, so uh, that's to kind of put it in perspective in 2021, that was what, 25 years ago? A quarter, this thing's been open for a quarter of a century and I've been down south for a quarter of a century. So uh, kind of interesting, but we're heading into Middlesboro, Tennessee. As soon as we come out of this tunnel, we'll be in Middlesboro, Borough, Tennessee, right uh, where the Cumberland Gap National Park is, um, which is, Really, the only thing Middlesboro is known for, except for being the hometown of the six million dollar man Lee Majors. <coughs> and we're out. That was a long tunnel, wasn't it? I was just informed that I said Middlesboro, Kentucky. I mean Tennessee. It's Middlesboro, Kentucky, not Tennessee. Uh, Middlesboro, Kentucky is famous as the home of Lee Majors, who played Heath on the Big Valley, and then he was Steve Austin. On the Six Million Dollar Man, and then he was in The Fall Guy, but I don't remember the name of his character. I never watched that show. 
Oh, they just fired their muskets. That was good timing. Are you are you doing uh, reenactor training today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then somebody over on the other end is firing back at us. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably shooting varmints. Are there actual? Are they actually shooting balls? No, 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 no. Just blanks. The hikers don't like. It. Yeah. Is the overlook open today? No, because of the ice damage. Oh no! Yeah. That's what we came up here to see. Yeah, you and about 5,000 other people. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, until we get those ha life threatening hazards taken care yeah. of, we can't. See so you, you can't even go up there at all? Oh no. They figured there's about 1,000 trees. Wow. Between here on the ridge and down to the end of the park. That's a shame. Yeah. They, he hiked it and that's what he gauged. You know, 5,000 well, when we did the assessment to see the damage. So they've got to get some emergency funding. They've got to get a crew. We had the crew, but didn't have the emergency funding to pay. Oh, man. So then we had to get the funding, then get the crew to come in. Because we have one dedicated trail person in this park. Yeah. Well, what a disappointment. I uh, came up here to see the beautiful scenery from Cumberland Gap, and ice storm messed everything up. All, a bunch of trees down. You can't get up there. So we're going to head to the dam dam, uh, the, or where they have the dam campground. Let's see, that's that's number two. That's the second time I've done that. There'll be other times where this is gonna be an ongoing thing, I'm sorry to say. Goodbye, Middlesboro, Kentucky, hometown of Lee Majors. Goodbye, Cumberland Gap State Park that wasn't open. This is what I like to do in this tunnel. <laughs> All right, we appear to have arrived at Douglas Lake in search of Douglas Dam. I don't see a, a Lynn says left turn, right turn. We're seeing all kinds of little campgrounds here. Okay. But first we want to see the dam because it's- In 2.2 miles. 2.2 miles. Because it's road. a beautiful overlook. So there's kind of a, a neat little campground. The lakes are down right now. The, the TVA, unless you're, in case you're not from around here and you don't know about TVA lakes, they're down in the winter time uh, to allow for flooding and whatnot. And then in the summertime, they they put them back up to normal level, and that's when most of the uh, swimming and boating and all that stuff takes place. Uh, this is Anchors Down RV Resort. We just happened upon it, uh, and it looks super fancy. Lynn was saying this is ex exclusive and hard to get into. I don't know if we'll even be allowed to go in here. Yeah, they're making reservations now two years out. You're kidding? <laughs> no, sir. Holy if cow. You're, if you're flexible, you can have them check some dates. Uh -huh. um, but you have to be really flexible because you don't have a date here or there and you may have to move. But if you really want a kind of a, a stretch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like one, we just we live in Kingsport. We're not far, but like one day that you can get one day here and there, but not. It's hard to get two days or three. Well, days. yeah, it's it's very difficult unless you're way out there. Yeah. But but to be honest with you, the best thing to do is if you're interested and you know when you think you might want to come, where you've got some dates that that you could float with, you can check while you're here. Okay. And see, and they'll tell you mm, we don't have anything or. They, we have a waiting list. You can also be called if you're okay. spontaneous. They, cancel you, list. Like, okay. Yeah, people will cancel and they'll go through the list and, you know, the first one that snags it obviously gets it, but you'll st still remain on the list if you didn't get it that time. Okay. okay. There's a nice vacant one. I'll show that on the way back. So this is the, the road. Whoa. It goes down. I guess this goes down. I don't know if there's a boat ramp down here. Probably not. I don't think there's a beach and a lake. Okay. It's going the area. Our, our little puny camper is going to look like a Jethro camper compared to these guys. Jethro Bodine camper.
Well, there's ours is bigger than theirs. Ha ha. That's about the size of our camper. Well, there's all kinds of empty ones. Like you said it might be for one day. Look at that one. Look how pretty that is. So this is anchored down in, this is near Douglas Dam, near Sevierville. And look at that cool fireplace. Nice, nice big campground, nice picnic table. What a nice view of the lake. Look at this, this is awesome. And then I guess when the water is up, you can see the, that, that yellow thing is gonna be floating. And that'll be the, I assume that's how high the water goes. There's a boat ramp. And that you can see the dock out there is way down. So the lake comes way up. And then they got a beach here. Beach to play on. And if you look over there, that must, that must be where the pool is. There's a water slide. A little aquatic center. So this is a fancy... I think we've been here. I just don't remember coming in this way. They got a nice covered picnic area by the beach. But uh, yeah, look, that's where the, look how the water comes up that high. I bet it comes up to the edge of the beach there, that wall, and it gets deep. <laughs> so you better wear your floaty. But this is Douglas Lake, beautiful Douglas Lake. And uh, the Anchors Down Campground. So, this is uh, Millionaire Row down here. Look at these huge campers. And these, uh, these guys have the up high view. Sprinkling. Maybe not millionaire row, maybe just really a deep in dead row. All right, that was Anchors Down RV Resort on Douglas De Lake. Douglas Lake, and I am having trouble talking today. On Douglas Lake near the Douglas Dam. The Douglas Lam's right down the road here, so that's where we're headed next. There's the Dam Dam sign. This is the view of the dam from the lower, uh, what do we call it? That, that was Maggie. That, you know what she wants to do. Her whole life is about peeing on stuff. All right, here's the Douglas Lake Dam from a little bit of a higher perspective. The upper overlook. Before we were down on the lower overlook, I was trying to find the word overlook. My brain is a little wore out today. Pretty mountain view in the background, even though it's raining today. It just started raining. But uh, we're going to go see if we can find this campground now. All right, there's the campground. Looks like they're still closed. They open March 15th. That's Monday. <laughs> Monday. They open Monday. Today is Saturday. So you can't really see too much. So this is the gate at the Douglas Lake Tennessee Valley Authority campground. I'm not going to go in too far. I just wanted to show you what it looks like you got campsites right on the the river there the, where the, this is the this, there's the dam right there you can see our car and there's the dam where the water comes out of the dam and then 
boom, you're right there. I don't know if that's going to be a good place for swimming or not. If you're a boater, it's probably ideal, ideal place to camp. But uh, probably not much for swimming, but a boaters and fishermen, I imagine this is a really good place to camp. But we wanted to check it out because look how it is pretty. I mean, you don't always have to be jumping in the water. In fact, there's a sign down there that says, that sign, if you can't see it or not, it says dangerous waters. So <laughs> you've been warned. But uh, all right. TVA campground. This is what we came up here to see. You can see we're underneath a, a bridge. Not sure which, we're underneath the bridge. I'm not sure which road this is, but there's the campground right there. And then we have a boat ramp right here. Looks like we have trailer parking maybe. And then the dam right there. So when they, this is on the dangerous side of the van, dam, <laughs> van. You can tell I'm getting tired. This is on the dangerous side of the dam. As opposed to the other side where it's just a lake, this is the river. And this one's moving with a current, so you're definitely gonna wanna be careful out here. Danger, flashing lights, sounding of siren means rising in dangerous waters. Attention, sirens will be turned off at night. Only the lights will be activated. Notice, swimming or fishing from boat, ramp, or dock prohibited. Alrighty then. Wow, this dam, they let you get right up on it, don't they? I didn't see no signs saying stay away, so let's go check it out. Dangerous waters. Violent surges occur suddenly. Keep out. something burning. Must be that elect electricity being generated. This would be a bad time for the dam to break. I'm a good swimmer, but I don't know if I'd make it. I'd have to grab Maggie, let Maggie pull me to safety. Well, uh, we're 0 for 2. We went to Cumberland Gap. Cumberland Gap Overlook was closed. We went to the um, Douglas Dam's TVA campground and it was closed. So let's go see if we can find the Cherokee Dam campground and find out if it's closed. All right, there's the bridge that we were under when we were at the campground. Oh, by the way, the, the people that were taking pictures, they said there was eagles over there. There's the campground over there. <laughs> Are you damned out yet? I'm damned out. Uh, yeah, the people that were sitting over there with a big giant zoom lens camera said there's eagles over there, which that might be something special over here where we live. There's eagles all over the place, so we don't worry about that. See, I'm not the only one with a bad sense of humor. It's... Howdy, I like your store. Yep, just locked it. All right, we're at the Cherokee Dam. We made it. It was a rough route, but we made it. I'm gonna venture to say that the campground is closed because if the Douglas Dam campground was closed, then it would make sense that the Cherokee Dam campground is closed. <laughs> but they might let us, we might still be able to drive up in it anyways. They don't have a gate. The campground manager, they got us blocked off. 
What are they afraid somebody's gonna come here and try to move in? Not yet. Okay, so you can see there's the campground general store. That's where you would probably ordinarily go in. And those are the primo spots right there, the ones that are right down by the water. And of course the lake being way down. This is the boat ramp area. There's this there's the swimming area and the recreation area. And then <clears throat> the boat ramp. And right there, those are the campsites. And that green house is the campground general store. And there's campsites on the other side of that tree line. Those are the ones that are closest to the lake. Can you see how high the lake gets where the grass ends and the gravel begins? That's about the edge of the lake right there. So you're, if you're camping here at the TVA campground and you get one close, you're right there pretty close to the lake. And you can uh, you can stroll down there and sit in the water if you want. Of course, you there's the uh, Cherokee Dam campsites closest to the lake. Nice shade, shade trees there. Fire pits and I see electric. I don't know if I see water or not. But I guess they have water, but I don't see it. What they don't have is septic or sewer. Okay, so now you've seen Cherokee Dam. Let's go look at the, the or Cherokee Dam campground. Let's go look at the campground that we stay at that's 100,000 times better. All right, that's the Cherokee Dam. Almost identical to the Douglas Dam. Goodbye, Cherokee Dam. John J. J. Sheets Bridge. I said that wrong. See you in August, I think, is when we're coming back here. I think we've got reservations to go camping in August at our campground up here, which we're fixing to show you before the sun goes down. Show you the best campground in Tennessee, as far as I'm concerned. There it is right there. By your springs. There's our Dollar General we go to whenever we camp here. Okay, this turnoff is about three or four miles from the dam. This is the May Springs campground. Hopefully it's open. Get in and show you the, there's some really, really neat campsites here. The sun's fixing to go down, it's getting late. I wasted all that time going to uh, Cumberland Gap and been pouting about that all day because they were closed. But if we can see these pretty campsites up here right on the lake, it'll make it all worthwhile. Wow, I've never been here when the lake was down. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird not seeing it full of water. There's, there's where the boat dock is. And they've got a little beach there. I, I don't think anybody really uses the beach. Oh, ow, ow, ow. There's, there's the, the office, and we're going into the campground. Now these, oh, oh, another speed bumps. These campsites right here, and I wish there wasn't somebody behind me so I could take my time, but these little campsites right here are right on the lake, and you can see new speed bumps. You can see how high the water would be. You literally roll out of your camper and into the water. All right, we got lucky. There's nobody at our campsite. Number 57. This is where we stay. And we'll, so our, um, where I'm standing is where our camper would be. And this would be our deck. And you can see there's, there's one campsite right beside us right there, but that's, I think that's a permanent one. And they're not there very often. There's one behind us, also permanent. And uh, but other than that, look at this huge yard we have when we stay here. 
and you go down go down this uh, hill and just we jump right in the water and we float around <laughs> and this amazing view we sit and and just stare at this beautiful view so this is this is to me I, this is the only campsite I ever want to stay at right here I love this campsite but uh, it's usually booked <laughs> it's in the when it in season so we're off season right now but during the during the regular season you know season it's it's always booked Maggie look at her she's she's leaving them something to remember right, well she can join the geese look what the geese did the geese messed this place up big time you jerks all right, well, before we lose the light, let's go back and I'll show you all these other campsites that are that are right on the water. Uh, this is our campsite that we were booked, I think the, we're either the week before Labor Day or the week after Labor Day, which is the only reservation we could get. So we'll be back. While Maggie's getting her drink, I'll just kind of marvel at our beautiful campsite once more before we, before we leave. Look at that big yard we have. We have a huge yard right on the lake. Perfect to go swimming. We, we have floats and we float around. And we come back up here and grill and watch the sun go down over that beautiful lake. Oh, I love this place. This is, this is my favorite place in the world to camp. They've got this place has the TVA campgrounds beat all to pieces. Okay, now we're going back and the lake is on the driver's side where you can get a better view. Back there is where our campsite was. We just left it. And you can see how far the lake is down right now. campsites so you kind of if you got a camper you just you can pull in there oh, i guess lynn said they're tents i don't know but either way you're you're right on the water it's amazing just imagine the lake is right up to, you can see how far the lake goes up where the sand ends and the vegetation be begins so imagine this is your camp spot and how close you are you just roll out of your tent or your camper and jump right in the water I guess these are more tent, more tent places, or maybe like a pop-up. And you could probably have a pop-up here. There's no uh, water or electric though. And then they have a boat ramp here too, boat dock. Squirrel, you just about did it. That squirrel just about bit the farm. Suicide. Oh, oh. So there's, there's their boat ramp area. And then now, what, now we start getting into the camper the, the uh, lakeside camper places well that's not there's no yeah there there's electric 11b see they get the little they got electric there yeah so these have utilities they just don't have septic we have septic where we are I'm gonna let this car by
Look, somebody riding my tail. Okay, so the, we almost rented one of these, but we were afraid our camper was too big. So these guys, they're, they got a little camper, so that, that's probably about the, as big as you can have right here. Ooh, I don't know if I'm quite I, I might go with a tent in May I don't know about ooh, those speed bumps are killers I don't know about in March okay well that was the end of this anything can happen today it was oh a bit a bit of a bust past these speed bumps so I don't where I can talk it was a bit of a bust because of the uh, closed our TVA campgrounds I bet if I had read that press release all the way through I would have known that the, the campgrounds were closed right now but uh, be that as it may we ended on a high note with the May Springs campground so we're gonna head on back to the house. Uh, once again, wanna thank you for watching. It's Anything Can Happen Day. Um, hopefully we'll have a more exciting adventure next time. Until then, we'll see you.